So guess who's back? Paige. And she has turned and the you, page. And you missed me. Yes. I think you missed me a <laughs> lit. <laughs> so anyway, she birthed in TX. And now she has some body and skin changes. <laughs> I birthed a baby, just so you guys know. Can you still breastfeed with implants? There's no percentages, there's no guarantees, but what I did when I did her reconstruction, I made sure I skived away from everywhere the milk ducts and glands live, because I know where they are. They're usually centered around the areola at a certain depth. So I went in and avoided them. So she's been able to do that, but it doesn't guarantee, even in my hands or other breast experts' hands, that you can breastfeed after augmentation or revision augmentation. So. If you're gonna go into that, you have to be prepared for possibly not breastfeeding or pumping, but luckily with her, you were able to, so that's amazing. So yes. in that, you get an A+. Yeah, that was she didn't have to wear what the men wear with this, that weird thing with the milk coming out. <laughs> she actually was able to do it like a mom should. <laughs> so we'll she... edit that out. <laughs> Is there anything you can do for loose skin after having a baby? All the MCT oil and gluten-free tacos <laughs> in the world can't prevent, can't prevent yeah. which is the natural stretching that occurs. Now, the good thing with her is, did you oil up while you were... So much, yeah. but I'll have to show a video in here. Okay. I was just... I'm trying to get my belly real close so y'all can see, but I'm starting to get like a little bit of discoloration around my belly button. She did all the skincare stuff she could. The rest, honestly, is genetics. A lot of stretch marks and how loose your skin is and how much somebody definitely needs a tummy tuck and skin removal and tightening after surgeries based on genetics. But she did all the right things. She has good genetics. She's always worked out and been healthy. On top of that, she did the Rolls Royce thing and oiled up. So she did well. I'm confident she's gonna get her six pack back. We're gonna help her with that little bit of loose skin that's there near the belly button. You can see it's a little loose here. Not loose enough for a tummy tuck, not big enough for lipo. So we're gonna do the zone right here, we're gonna use that radio frequency from uh, body tight. I'm gonna show you how it works. So basically, it's gonna go in from above and below and hit the skin from both inside and outside. So it's very powerful and it's essentially gonna heat the collagen layer. And it's almost like if you tighten your shoelaces. Imagine this is loose shoelaces right now. It's gonna go tighten the shoelaces and give her a good, hopefully 20, 25% or more skin tightening to where it looks smoother and after three or four months she's gonna see it.